Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 9th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. I started out by checking the lake and you can see most of the snow is gone from that area. And the lake was a lot calmer today after all of the strong winds from the past couple of days. So it was the usual mix of ducks out there. Here you can see some of the common golden eyes and towards the top there are also some long tailed ducks. It was cloudy in the morning with a cool pattern to the clouds. The wind started out light from the southwest and then throughout the day shifted around more westerly and became quite strong by the afternoon. And by the time we hit the midday, the sun was actually coming out and it turned into a really beautiful day and temperatures reached the upper 30s. There were a lot of flocks of snow geese migrating in the morning with a total of nearly 4,000. I was hoping the southwest winds in the morning would bring some raptors, and it brought a few, but not really a lot. But here's a male northern harrier. Here's an adult bald eagle. Here's another northern harrier, and it's nice early in the season when we're seeing all of these adult males. Here's the raptor that probably gave us the best look today. This is an adult red-tailed hawk. So you see that dark belly band and dark patagial bars that all red tails show, plus the dark trailing edge to the wings and the red tail indicate adult. Here we have an eagle and we see a large head and we see a lot of splotchy white, especially in the wing pit area and to the underside of the body. This is an immature bald eagle. This was a cool moment. We had a flock of snow geese and a flock of Canada geese that were flying separate and then they joined forces and became one mixed flock. Here we have an adult ring-billed gall. Notice that yellow bill with black ring and the yellow legs and feet. And we had a strong flight of ring-billed galls heading into that westerly wind this afternoon with nearly a thousand total. And mixed in with the ring-billed galls, we had smaller numbers of the larger American herring galls. Here we have a particularly dark first winter American herring gall. Here's another adult red-tailed hawk, and it looks like this one has a full crop, which indicates that it has eaten recently. At one point, I looked over towards the lake and just happened to catch this flock of six tundra swans heading west. Here's another adult red-tailed hawk, and this one looks particularly dark. It looks like a dark throat and maybe a large belly band with some dribbling from the throat onto the upper breast. So this would potentially be a northern red-tailed hawk. With that afternoon sun shining, we had a really nice look at the ducks down on the water below the bluff. Here we have an adult male long-tailed duck. And there was also a nice group of white-winged scoters. And here's a closer look at one of those white-winged scoters, and they're kind of a cool-looking duck with that funky bill and the white arc below the eye. Here's a woodpecker and the small size, black and white coloration, small bill, and black dots to the outer tail feathers make this a downy woodpecker. And there's no red on the back of the head, so we know that it's a female. Here's an adult bald eagle that was migrating, and it was heading towards the lake to cut the corner to continue north. And the resident eastern chipmunk was out and about. And I thought the sign looked nice with that early evening sunshine on it. The count was conducted from the north lookout today, and I had a total of 47 species. The only new species for the season today was Merlin, which was the first migrating raptor of the day. And I caught it just as it was heading out towards the lake, and I watched it as it cut the corner, but it was pretty distant. So I watched it in the scope, but it was too far for photos. And that brings us to 71 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 16 turkey vultures, two bald eagles, two northern harriers, four red-tailed hawks, and one merlin for a total of 25 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 158 migrating raptors. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking partly cloudy with the high in the mid-40s and light westerly winds. I'll probably start out at the north lookout, but if those winds have any northerly component or it seems like the flight line is more inland, I may shift over to the south lookout. We'd only expect light, maybe moderate migration, but really those light winds, there's not much to encourage the birds to move much, although there should be thermals with that sunshine. Looking ahead to Tuesday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds and a high up around 57, so very warm and winds southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, so excellent conditions overall. Would expect Tuesday to be a pretty good day, probably almost certainly the biggest day we've had so far this season. 
And then looking ahead to Wednesday, it'll be colder with a high only up at 35 and light northerly winds. So we'll probably be at the south lookout and wouldn't expect much migration. And then looking beyond that to Thursday, Friday, and then into the weekend is looking like four straight days of southerly winds. So we could have some more good flights coming up later in the week. So I hope you can come visit us soon out of the Derby Hill Hawk Watch or follow along virtually. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.